State lawmakers hope all the fuss over the White case will focus public attention on the growing problem of drugged driving. It is difficult to detect and hard to prosecute under current New Mexico law. Stuart Dyson is in our newsroom with what lawmakers are working on. Stu? Nicole, Tom, first, let's remember once again that although Kathleen White was suspected of drugged driving, a hospital drug test cleared her of being under the influence of any opiate drugs and a neurologist diagnosed that she had a seizure. But it was that suspicion, the suspicion that led to this whole mess culminating with her husband Darren's sudden retirement this afternoon. The main problem with drug driving cases is that there are no scientifically established levels for intoxication and impairment, unlike the 0.08 blood alcohol level for drunk driving. That can allow defense lawyers to blow holes through the prosecution's case. Retired cop Bill Ream. There's no literature that or test that's ever been conducted that shows that at whatever level you are impaired, and let's take the most abused drug, Valium. There's nothing for Valium out there. Then there's the misguided idea that if it's a legal prescription drug taken properly, you're in the clear, unlike illegal drugs. Lawyer, Mo Maestas. And if you're impaired by a prescription drug, it's still DWI. You should not drive if you've taken a high dose of painkillers or anti-anxiety, antidepressant medication that leaves you impaired to drive a motor vehicle. Reem and Maesta say they'll try again with legislation that attempts to set guidelines for drugged driving. This time, they'll have the white case and the drugged driving conviction of well-known lawyer Ron Bell to help keep the issue in the public eye. Hey, police and prosecutors say the most common drugs for drug, uh, drug driving uh, among the illegal ones, it's marijuana the most common, and among uh, prescription drugs, Valium, Xanax, Percocet, Vicodin, uh, the ones leading the list. Back to you. Thank you, Stuart. We posted Darren White's retirement letter on our website, KOB.com. And be sure to stay with KOB Eyewitness News 4 on air and online for any new developments with this story.